What's up guys? It's Tyler here with Orion's Tactical. I uh, got another piece of kit today I wanted to show you guys. This is going to be the ITS ETA Trauma Kit or IFAC. Uh, stands for Individual First Aid Kit for anybody that didn't know that. But this is the ETA. I'll give you a couple close-up shots of it. It's got plenty of Molly or uh, Pals webbing on the back. I'll show you uh, a couple options you can do with this here in just a minute. There's also webbing on the sides which I've used to put my shears and my tourniquet in. Uh, this kit, it was designed to be, I think it's a little bit bigger, but it was designed to be about the same size as a double magazine pouch. It's pretty darn close, but it's still just barely a little bit bigger. Um, the materials is uh, 500D Codora. Uh, the zipper pulls here are 550 Paracord. Um, when you get this kit, it comes in two different options. You can either get the tall boy, which is this, or the fat boy, which is kind of a little bit, probably about this much shorter a little bit fatter so you get two different options and three different colors I think they come in multicam which is what I got uh, coyote and black so you got three different options of color and two different options of either the tall boy or the fat boy and the contents are identical on each one um, it's got the color matched velcro this whole panel here this is all velcro they give you this little velcro patch i'm not sure if i'm going to leave that on there yet or not just because it's red and it shows up really bad but uh, they also have a red uh, one wrap but you can take that off too if you don't want that on there you can take it off but i'm just showing it to you as it came uh, as far as the tourniquet and the shears, those were an add-on. So if you go to get this kit, uh, there will be a kind of like a drop-down box where you can add the shears. It's a pretty good set of shears. It's uh, stainless steel, I believe. Yeah, stainless but it's not really got a mirror finish on it, which I like. In a way, it's not too reflective. Good, good set of shears. I usually just slide those right down in these channels here on the side. Seems like they fit really well. And the tourniquet, it's just a soft tourniquet. I think it's one and a half inch. And I've just got these rubber bands wrapped around it through the webbing to hold it securely so it's not going anywhere the shears they're not gonna fall out on you uh, uh, the contents of the kit this is their ETA uh, the ETA they, they got that from the three main causes of combat death, which is extremity hemorrhage, tension pneumothorax, and obstruction of airway. Uh, so this kit will cover all three of those things. Um, if you get the advanced kit like I did, it'll come with uh, one quick clock gauze, uh, decompression chest needle, or mojo dart. Uh, the nasal airway tube, uh, Z-fold dressing, a pair of nitrile gloves, uh, two halo chest seals, elastic bandage, 
compressor dressing, a casualty card, and a pencil to fill out the casualty card. <clears throat> and it's also got a little thing here that sends you its uh, care under fire. It's just a list of steps that you would that you would do if you had someone get shot and you're getting shot at. It's got uh, some steps that you would take to uh, handle that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open for you, let you see what's inside. Uh, the cool thing about this kit is once it's mounted, say you mounted it to your uh, plate carrier or your belt, wherever, you just take this uh, handle here and you just rip it right open. So everything just comes right out. Uh, on the inside here, they have this uh, shock cord. They give you plenty of it. I've got extra, so you could actually fit some more stuff in this kit than what they just send you. But there's the uh, gloves, uh, two inch ace bandage, uh, uh, gauze, Israeli bandage, and all this is vacuum sealed so it might not look like a lot, but once you crack this open, uh, it's there's quite a bit in there. Uh, the top of the kit, there's one big main pouch here in the center, and then there's two small ones on either side. On this side here is where I've got the uh, nasal, the nasal airway tube. This is what will go down your nose all the way down to your throat. Uh, it's really good quality. Uh, I've seen some of them that have been vacuum sealed and they're kind of mashed down oval like that. But this one's a really good quality and it is also adjustable. You can just tell by holding it. it. It's it's really good quality. That's where I keep it. And the other side over here, in this pocket, I keep the decompression needle, the Mojo Dart, and the pencil is also down in there too. Here on the front. You have your quick clock combat gauze. Uh, this is what you would pack a wound with. Uh, it's got, uh, you can kind of see it there on the bag. You see these little blue swirls that go through it. Those will be picked up on an x-ray. So if you have this stuff packed into a wound and you get to the emergency room, they do an x-ray on you, they'll see this and they'll be able to pull it out of your body. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it's got the directions for use. Uh, also in the main pocket here on the front, I keep these two uh, Halo chest seals. You have one vented and one non-vented. Uh, these things are very, very sticky. Uh, they will stick to blood. Um, just about anything you can imagine being on you, they will stick to it. Um, they give you one vented and one non-vented, so if something were to happen, you get shot in the chest and you have an exit wound, you would put one on the front and then you'd have a second one for the back. And whichever one you're breathing out of would be the one you'd use for the vent. So there's that. <clears throat> And also in the front pocket here behind the halo chest seals is your casualty card. So this is pretty much, uh, let me see if I can get it here. casualty card 
So this is where you would write all your information, your the patient's information, whether it's you or someone else. Um, you pretty much just write down everything that happened, whether it be shrapnel, uh, burns, abrasions, stab wounds, fractures, hypothermia, uh, gunshot, you name it, anything like that. Uh, it's got a spot on here for tourniquet time, uh, 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 decompression needle, um, hemostatics, it, it's got it all. So you pretty much just write everything down that you have done to the patient hang this around their neck maybe maybe around their arm wherever you can get it and then uh, whenever they get to the emergency room or the hospital they'll have this and they'll know exactly what happened and they will know exactly what they need to do to treat you from there so that's a pretty cool thing to have and like I said there's also a pencil in here too that you can uh, write everything down with um, another thing that they sent, it's a hundred dollar poker chip, not sure why they sent that, but it's just a straight up little hundred dollar poker chip, so I just dropped that thing right down in there, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's in there, so, um, there's, there's plenty more room down in this pouch, you could uh, you could add things to it if you wanted. This is everything that came with my kit, and that was the ETA Advanced, and it's uh, from ITS. There's their logo there, and uh, like I said, if you want the shears and the tourniquet, you do have to add that separately. Um, another thing they send are these malice clips. They give you two short and two long. So let me go ahead and throw this kit back together and I'll show you what you would do with those. Oh yeah, they also sent a sticker, a little ITS sticker. Usually if you buy some gear from somewhere, most of the time you're going to get a sticker out of it. Which I don't mind, I've got a collection of them. I love getting free stickers. kits back together and you can see it's pretty skinny all right as far as these malice clips go uh, you find your molly webbing here on the back if you wanted to run this vertically depending on how you do it whether you're going to run it through a belt loop or a plate carrier you would take your uh, clip And this part here, the part that kind of sticks up, has to be facing out. Run that through. Run that through there like that. And then you just bring it back around here. clips right in just like that so if you wanted to use belt loop you could run this through a belt loop or you could take it run it through just like I showed you I know it's kind of hard for me to get it on camera here but run it through there And then on your way back through, if you had a plate carrier, 
you run this through the molly on your plate carrier and then you would attach this so then it would be completely secured to your plate carrier uh, your battle belt, uh, just a regular EDC belt, whatever it is that you're planning on using. If that's how the malice clips work. So for this one, you would have to run, if you're going to put on a belt, you just run your belt loops right through there like that. And you could mount this, you know, on your side like that. Now if you wanted it vertically, that's where these long ones would come in and pretty much you just do the exact opposite you run them straight down and then you would bring this back up and click it right in and then uh, to remove these you just there's a little tab here you just kind of pull up right there on that tab Let's see if I can get it on camera here pull up on the tab and they pull it right back out it's really hard to show you I usually just get my thumbnail right in there and pull up on it which is hard to do sometimes That's it. ITS ETA. It's a really, really good kit. Uh, this kit also has the reverse zippers, which is also a really, really cool feature to it. See how they're reversed? Keeps all the uh, dirt and grime. All this nasty gunk from getting in on your medical supplies. Um, it's binding taped. Uh, the stitching is really, really nice, really neat. Uh, it's it's just a quality, quality piece. Um, this kit for the uh, the pouch and the advanced ETA kit. It's going to run you well if you add the tourniquet and the uh, combat shears, they call them the Mojo Medical Shears. If you add that, it's all going to be around 250 bucks. Uh, I think the, I'm really not sure what the uh, add-on was, but the pouch itself is about 50 something. The kit itself is about 100 and I can't remember exactly what the tourniquet and the shears was. All together, everything you see right here is about 250 bucks. And you can get a patch with your blood type, put your blood type on the front. Uh, there's there's plenty of options with it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, that's about all I've got for you. But I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, I've got a couple more reviews coming up for you. I'm not going to tell you what they are. But just keep your eye out for them. And I will catch you guys next time. See you later.